excuse me. <laughs> I'm so excited. I just started coughing even before I started talking in this video, but that's just how it goes sometimes. Anyway, uh, what's up, everybody? Fabio here once again, and I want to welcome everyone back to another video. And today, I'm going to be talking about the recent sale of the Power Rangers franchise to Hasbro. Um, it's, uh, it's Friday night here. Had a really good day. I um, got to shoot some guns today, which is always nice to shoot guns and uh, work out a little bit. And got some, got one one issue taken care of. Just got one more that I need to take care of, and everything will be good to go. So getting there. So it's been a been a good day. Got some pretty cool stuff in the mail, which you will see uh, later this weekend in a collection update. So yeah, I'm in a really good mood. And I figured might as well continue to kick the weekend off in a positive way by doing a video about this subject, this uh, news that has just occurred earlier this week. Um, first of all, I was a surprise. It was definitely a surprise hearing that the Power Rangers franchise as a whole was sold to Hasbro. Um, earlier this year, the, the toy license was sold to Hasbro, and I didn't know this, but they had the option to purchase the entire franchise, which obviously they ended up doing. And um, I know when that news broke out of, of them uh, purchasing the toy franchise, <clears throat> there was a lot of, you know, talk and speculation and this and that and worrying and everything that was going on. Because you know, the Legacy Collection has been going on where they've been, re you know, re-releasing um, the older toys in upgraded fashion, making them beautiful. Like, uh, most of the Zords are amazing, and a lot of the, <clears throat> the like, the Red Ranger's Power Sword and the Dragon Dagger, they're all amazing pieces. I would love to have those in my collection, but, you know, I have a barracks room. I really don't have the space to show off this stuff, and, you know, again, in the, in the, lifestyle that I have right now. It's not really, um, number one, economic, and number two, it's not really the best move to make by purchasing a bunch of toys to have them displayed in a room that I'm not going to be living in for the rest of my life, or for a long time, for that matter. There you go. Um, but when I heard, you know, I never, I know I never did a video about it, but when I heard that the toy franchise, you know, the toy rights, whatever you want to call it, were sold to Hasbro. Um, a little, actually, I did talk about it a little bit. I did. Um, now I remember. You know, it's just so much knowledge up here. Uh, I'm only joking. Um, but when I heard that the franchise, you know, kind of to reiterate on that previous, uh, I don't. Uh, yeah, I did. Fuck, man, I forgot. I did do a video about that. But to reiterate, excuse me for those that have not seen the video or do not remember my thoughts. Um, it's bittersweet because Bandai has done the toys for 25 years, ever since the beginning of the franchise, you know, and, um, growing up, getting all those toys for Christmas and birthdays and, and all that stuff, you know, it, it was, it, it is bittersweet because it's like, you know, you've known that for so long and you've expected that and, and you've gone through the motions of that for so long. And it changes and you don't really know what to do. It's kind of like, you know, graduating high school or, or whatever, you know, you, you're you kind of like lost in the sauce. Like, oh, okay, what's going to happen and stuff like that. But I think Has, you know, Hasbro obviously has done a wonderful job for themselves over the years. Um, you know, they've done the Transformers figures. They've done many board games. And Hasbro is obviously a very successful company. And in my opinion, there's really nothing to worry about in that regard because they the proof is in the pudding for them and I think they're going to do a great job with the toys which are uh, excuse me scheduled to be again I'm getting so excited um, scheduled to begin next year with the new series of Power Rangers which is entitled Power Rangers Beast Morphers so uh, that'll be cool to see and also that'll be the first uh, series under Hasbro because they haven't started they're actually still casting um, I would love to audition for that, but I cannot because I'm in the Army and kind of conflicting interests there. I don't think the Army is going to let me go to New Zealand for a year to film Power Rangers and come back. It just doesn't work that way. But, hey, what do you know? 
you know, in a perfect world, it would happen, but, uh, you know, it doesn't, again, it doesn't work that way, at least, you know, for me. I am not that lucky. But anyway, um, so, again, reiterating, I think there's going to be good stuff for the toys. Um, I think the Legacy Series is going to continue, and I think it's going to be good. I'm, I'm really looking forward to seeing uh, what they do with the figures. Now, again, I am definitely going to miss Bandai because they've been doing the figures forever and also Beetleborgs and uh, Mystic Knights and Mass Rider, the other Saban uh, superhero shows from my childhood, which I also had those toys. Uh, again, VR Troopers was done by Kenner, but I thought they did a, a good job with those figures. I had some of those toys growing up, and I still have some of my collection at home. And I know I've said this before, one day when I'm out of the army or whatever, and I have the time to organize everything, I will show off my toys. I've gotten actually quite a few questions about that. Um, not just, again, from YouTube, but outside of YouTube, I have gotten... A lot of questions about, you know, do you collect toys? Yeah, oh, cool, what do you have? Well, I have a lot, you know. Um, so one day, one of the, you know, whenever I get out of the Army or whatever I decide to do, which, uh, you know, you, you again, when I make that final decision, you guys will know. Um, but I will do a toy video because I've shown, I've shown all my movies. I've shown my comic books. The only things I really haven't shown is my toys and my video games. And one day, again, I will do videos, you know, video series about those. Because I know people keep asking me about them. So one day, folks. One day. But anyway, um, so yeah. So moving on to this current subject. Um, Hasbro purchasing the entire Power Rangers franchise. Um, again, I know that there's a lot of... I think it's more positive than negative. I, there's a few negative comments out there that I've read, but I think it's more positive. I think people are really looking forward to this because I think people are just tired of the way that Saban has treated the fan. The, the, blip, blip, burp, burp, burp. See, I, I tell you, folks, I just get so excited and I can't even fucking talk in these videos. Anyway, excuse my language. But, um, yeah, I just I think that people are tired of the way that Saban has treated the franchise and the fandom. Um, if you think about it, really, <clears throat> apart from the toys and the new movie, really, what have they done for Power Rangers? Nothing, really. Um, the TV show, you know, the, the current seasons of the TV shows, I have really, in my personal opinion, and I know a lot of people share a similar viewpoint, um, have not been favorable. Samurai sucked, in my opinion. I did not care for Samurai, except for the fact that there was a female Red Ranger, but that was kind of later in the series. I wish they would have worked it in sooner. And I wish that they would do a full-fledged version of that. I wish they would do a female Red Ranger for a whole season, because I think people would love it, and it would definitely work. I mean, they did... You know, Alien Rangers, you know, uh, fuck, what's her name? Delphine, I couldn't think of her name for a second, though she was the white Alien Ranger. She was technically the leader. You know, I think that that, you know, that worked. And Jen from Time Force, the pick Time Force Ranger, was pretty much the leader for most of the show. So it can work. I just think you need to swap the color palette, make her the Red Ranger. You know, I think it could work. In my opinion, it could work. You know, and I think a lot of other, again, people I've spoken to and stuff about it, I think people would love to see that, but I don't think it'll ever happen with Saban. Maybe Hasbro, but I don't know. Um, Megaforce was, you know, Samurai, I was like, okay, it's their first season back. They're testing out the waters. Let's see what happens. Megaforce was a little bit better, but still, I think it was a huge blatant ripoff of Mighty Morphin. It was it was basically Mighty Morphin remastered, and not the remaster they did in 2010, but the same thing. The, uh, the Legacy War was a big letdown. I know, obviously, with that situation, it's about money and timing and everything, um, but I wish they had gotten more of uh, the old school Rangers to come back. You know, I love the character of Tommy. I do, but you know, there's other Power Rangers out there than Tommy. You know, there's other characters that peep that we have not seen in a long time that people want to see, you know. So, I don't know. 
Um, so Mega Force was a letdown. Dino Charge was actually good. I actually enjoyed Dino Charge thoroughly. I, you know, uh, thought it was the best one out of the, the when Saban bought the series back. And um, yeah, I enjoyed it. I would like to rewatch it soon. I have the DVDs back home. Maybe when I go home on a summer leave, I'll excuse me, I'll pull them out and check them out again because I did enjoy Dino Thunder very much. Or Dino Thunder. Oh, Dino Thunder kicks ass, but Dino my my like it's been a long week. Um, Dino Charge, excuse me, Dino Charge is, is was good. I liked it. Um, I know everyone keeps asking me about Ninja Steel. I still have not watched any of the episodes. I have everything up to now because now they're on hiatus. I heard. The end of July, early August is when it's supposed to come back on. And as you guys know, typically I wait till the regular season is done and then the super season and then just watch it in one go. That way I don't have to wait and catch up and rewatch episodes and stuff. I just like to have a nice flow of the narrative and everything. You know, I like to just watch it one time through. And, you know, I've heard mixed things about Ninja Steel. So, we'll, you know, when the time comes, I'll let you guys know my thoughts on it, as always. Um, so, yeah. But the movie, the movie kicked ass. I loved the movie. Um, it's definitely one of my favorite remakes. And they did it right. And it's, I don't know why, I mean, I know why it wasn't a bigger hit. It's because it was in stiff competition. You had Beauty and the Beast and there was other big movies that came out at the same time. I know they jumbled the release date around. They should have just kept it where it was. I think it was supposed to come out in September of 2016. And they should have just kept it there because I think it would have made more money. Um, but I know a lot of people liked it. I know on DVD and Blu-ray and digital it, it sold a lot. And I know one of the big questions that people have regarding this sale to Hasbro is... Are they going to continue with the movies? Because Hasbro obviously has G.I. Joe and Transformers. Uh, they tried to do a Gem the Hologram movie, but that sucked. And to be honest, you you don't... I mean, the first Transformers, I will admit, I liked. Transformers 2, I thought was okay. Um, anything beyond that, I have not seen. I've only seen the first two Transformers movies. Um, I like the G.I. Joe films. Are they amazing movies? No, but I think they're fun comic book type movies that people enjoy. You know, I like the G.I. Joe films, but are they the end-all be-all? No, they're not. But, I mean, they're entertaining, in, at least in my opinion. I like them for what they are. But that's the biggest question that people ask, Are is there going to be a sequel? And in my opinion, I think there will be. And in my opinion, I think this will all come full circle and will be announced at Morphicon. And the reason why I think that is because not only is it the 25th anniversary of the franchise, but also the announcement of whoever's going to be in the cast of Beast Morphers will be announced because that's been the tradition at Morphicon. And again, with this sale, that's the big question that's on everyone's minds. Is there going to be a sequel? Um, we're just going to have to find out, folks. But in my opinion, I think there will be. I really do think there will be a sequel. Um... Because I think Hasbro has enough stock and power in Hollywood to where if they want it to happen, it will happen. The, fran the, the Transformer franchise has made a god-awful amount of money. Um, <coughs> are they good movies? Not really, but um, you know they've made stupendous amounts of money. G.I. Joe was successful. Um, the first movie wasn't a ginormous hit. It made money. But the second one made more, obviously, because of the inclusion of The Rock. Because he's a megastar, and there you go. Um, are they going to do a third one? I don't know. To be honest, I don't care. I really don't. If they were to make another G.I. Joe movie, would I see it? Yeah, but is it something I crave? No, not really. Um, again, I'm not really the biggest G.I. Joe fan in terms of the movies. I prefer the cartoons. I think they're a lot better. Um, same with Transformers. I prefer the Transformer cartoons than the movie. But I think, again, you know, Hasbro has enough clout in Hollywood. And obviously the proof is in the pudding because their franchises have made billions of dollars. Um, I think we will get a sequel to Power Rangers. I really do think, in my opinion, we will. And again, 
you know, this is not the first time this has happened. You know, obviously, we all remember when Saban sold uh, to Disney back in 2001 for something, it was a couple billion dollars. It was a huge sale because it was not only Saban, but it was the Fox Kids Network and, and that property and everything. So that was a lot of money back then. And, I mean, a couple billion dollars is still a big deal. Um, but they only sold, because Saban is now a lot smaller than it was, they only sold for about $525 million, which is still, $500 million is quite a bit. Um, at least in my book, you know, I don't have, I'm not a big, you know, I'm not rich by any means, but, you know, I appreciate money. And $500 million, you could do a lot with that. Um, so, yeah. But, and again, I know people are wondering about, well, Beast Morphers, what's going to happen with Power Rangers Beast Morphers? I think that that's going to be okay because that's all kind of been set in stone already. They're just casting and, and going through that. Um, I think that, you know, Saban's going to turn the reins over to Hasbro, and I think things will be okay, um, in my opinion. I think that they're going to, you know, they already, again, they know what they're going to do, and Hasbro knows what they're doing, and I think that. It's gonna. It's gonna be okay. It's gonna be. It's gonna be fine. You know, there's nothing to worry about there. Um, and of course, you know, other. You know, will it stay on Nickelodeon? Well, they just signed a contract to extend Power Rangers until 2021. So I think that contract will still be honored because that was already done before this sale. So I think Power Rangers will still be on Nickelodeon. Which, um, again, it's still weird to me. You know how. You know, Power Rangers was Fox Kids. It, it helped create the Fox Kids legacy, the whole block and everything. And now, it's, and then it was on Disney. You know, it was on Toon Disney, which became Disney XD, the reruns at least. And uh, now it's on Nickelodeon. You know, history is weird, man. History is very weird. Same with Ninja Turtles. You know, Ninja Turtles went from being syndicated and then also on CBS. And then the live action series was on Fox Kids. Then the 2003 cartoon was on the Fox box when the they, uh, four kids took over. And then now it's been on Nickelodeon. And now they got this new series coming out. So, yeah, man, history is weird. It's weird where things go. It really is. Um, so I think, you know, again, the, the television franchise is going to be okay. Um, hell, it might even get better. Hopefully it does. You know, hopefully it gets better. We shall see what happens. Um... I think the toys are going to improve. I think the toys will be better. And I hope, my opinion, I can't, you know, speculate. I mean, I can speculate and everything all I want. But in my opinion, I think we're going to get a sequel to the movie. Um, I think Morphicon this year is going to be a big deal. Because it's the 25th anniversary of the series. This sale just happened. So I think at this year's Morphicon, and plus the comic books are doing so great. The whole Shattered Grid storyline is doing awesome. If you haven't checked out the teaser where Jason David Frank plays Dr Lord Dracon, check it out. It's pretty badass. But the comics are doing good. And I think that this year, this year's Morphicon, I think it's going to be the biggest one and probably the best one. I am going to try to go. I need to see what our schedule looks like. I'm definitely going to try to go to Power Morphicon this year because this year it'll be easier. Um, I'm in Colorado, so the flight would be cheaper. And, you know, I make decent money, so I just need to save money for a couple months, you know, not buy as much, and go over there and have a good time, you know, go over there and have fun, and, you know, I, I definitely want to do that. I've never been there. Um, my friends want to go, so I think we're going to just, uh, you know, kind of bring it all together and do what we got to do and go and have a good time. I really want to go. I really want to go. Really would like to go. And we'll see what happens, Captain. But I think I think that the, the best move was made. I think Saban needed to get rid of the franchise because I know a lot of people are uh, fuck, dissatisfied with Saban and the way they've been running the show and everything. And I'm, I'm hoping for the best, and I think I have a good feeling that things are going to get better from here. I think the show is going to improve. Hopefully we get a sequel to the movie. The toys are definitely going to get better. And I think that this was, the, again, the best move for Power Rangers to move to another company. Because when Disney took over, you know, Power Rangers was doing great before. But I think when Disney took over, it, it reached new levels. And, you know, Power Rangers 
was treated with so much respect by Disney, and those seasons, all those seasons are great. I loved all the the Disney seasons. Um, so we'll see what happens, man. I'm just, you know, it, I was really happy to hear like, wow, Hasbro, cool, you know, and and we'll see what happens, man. I think it's going to be a good a good thing. And we're going to get a lot of good things out of it. We're going to get some good stuff. And I know people are, again, wondering, you know, the the 25th, this is the 25th season of Power Rangers. You know, what do you think they're going to do for the reunion? Well, I've been told some information and I've seen some pictures and things, but I can't say anything. Um, I don't want to ruin it, first of all, for anyone. And plus... The guy that told me he wasn't supposed to know, but I, I know what's kind of going to happen and who's going to kind of show up. Um, so I'm looking forward to that. I know that's going to be like the end of the, the Super Ninja Steel. So we'll see what happens there. But yeah, um, again, uh, good news in my opinion. We will see what happens. Um, you know, good shit. And I think good shit's going to happen, you know, from this. But anyway, folks, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching, as always. Take care. Hope you guys have a good weekend, and uh, I'll talk later. Bye-bye.